we're four days away from the big splash on Saturday. And every day as we get closer, it gets more and more exciting. Today we saw behind the Exxon station in front of Atwoods, we had people out there with a huge piece of equipment tearing up the trees. So if you take the Highway 79, you're going to be blown away by the change there. You'll be able to see Brookshire's and Atwoods. This evening at the Reynolds Center, we had our team leaders come out and take a look at some of the team projects that we've identified all up and down Main Street. They were able to pick up their t-shirts for their teams, tell us what time they're going to come. And we're still taking registration online uh, for volunteers and for teams. Today we're watching it come in. Hour after hour, more and more teams were signing up today. We have more than 400 volunteers already signed up. When we ordered t-shirts, we ordered 500 blue t-shirts and we didn't know if that was going to be way too many, but now we know that that was a good amount to order. So if you go to mainnailblossom.org slash volunteer, you can sign up as an individual family or team. And we're asking all volunteers to come on Saturday at the time that they are able to come. Uh, you can come in from Main Street in between Burger King and McDonald's to University Plaza Shopping Center. And from that point, there will be a quick and easy check-in process. And we'll send you to some place on East or West Main to take care of a project. And it's going to transform Main Street. We're super excited about it. You've got about 30 different projects that you have uh, photographs out here today. Uh, uh, tell me just about a few of them. There's a few spotlight ar areas that we're really excited about, like Linkus and Steve's a tent shop on the corner of Dudney. Uh, we're working with them real close, really closely to have their facilities painted, and they're really excited about it. Uh, at Columbia Shopping Center, we're doing a lot of work there, painting curbs, and we're adding some landscaping. Uh, Donna Pittman has helped us to come up with a design for every 25 feet, a miniature crepe myrtle and juniper around. So we have a lot of uh, landscaping opportunities for people. There's certain areas where there needs to be bushes trimmed and poles painted. Uh, we're going to work at the post office, for instance. Um, so we have projects all up and down Main Street, similar types of projects, whether it's painting, weed eating, edging, or landscaping. But they're spread all around. So I think it's going to take care of the whole street, really. And I noticed a few of these projects are not especially large or time consuming. They just need to be done. That's true. Uh, volunteers can sign up for two hour increments. Uh, we're going to be working from 8 to 4, but you can sign up for 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 2, or 2 to 4, or longer if you want to work longer. But a lot of these projects will be checked in at the main tent. You'll go to your grid, one of four grids, and then you can probably knock out a, a project or two maybe even uh, in the time that you're there especially if you have a good team and you're all working together. We're hoping it's going to be a really fun atmosphere with music playing and beautiful weather.